everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlit Joy, and today I want to share my review of Footprints on the Moon by Lorraine Marwood. This is a historical verse novel set in Australia during 1969 amidst the Vietnam War and the moon landing. It is a really, really gorgeous book and I had a really great time reading it. I am going to read you the blurb on the back of the book just to give you an idea of what the book will be about. Humans are about to leave footprints on the moon, but what sort of mark can one girl leave? here on Earth. It's 1969 and life is changing fast. Shani Burley is starting high school and finding it tough to make new friends. As the world waits to see if humans will land on the moon, the Vietnam War rages overseas. While her little cousin Lewis makes pretend moon boots, young men are being called up to fight, and sometimes without having any choice in the matter, sometimes without ever coming home. Dad thinks serving your country in a war is honourable, but when Shani's older sister Cass meets a returned soldier and starts getting involved in anti-war protests, a rift in their family begins to show. Shani would usually turn to her grandma for support, but lately Gran's been forgetting things. Can she find her own way in this brave new world? There is a lot that is going on in this book, and for a verse novel, it can be really tricky to include and incorporate so many different elements. Shani is starting high school, it's a transition in her life, and she's finding that people that she's known for a long time maybe may not be the friends for her and that she's making new friends who align with her sense of morals and her sense of understanding of the world. She is becoming more cognizant of the Vietnam War and the impact of conscription on young men in her life and part of this comes through her older sister's boyfriend and has very strong feelings about the war and her sister who is joining in with the anti-war protest even though their family is very much pro the war. And of course, alongside all of this, Shani would normally talk to her grandmother and her grandmother has been forgetting things and throughout the course of the book does pass away. So there is an element of that in there. So just be aware of it. And she's dealing with that grief and that understanding of who her grandmother was and what her grandmother's beliefs were. It's through a new friendship that Shani makes at school and a project that they are undertaking that has to do with the moon landing that Shani is able to explore her own feelings about being anti-war and, and how she can protest in, in a very subversive kind of way through this project about the moon landing and a series of posters that she and her friend create with messages that are both about the moon landing but also anti-war. And I found that side of it to be really very interesting. Lorraine Marwood has just a really wonderful writing style. I've read another of her verse novels for younger readers and this one is obviously for young girl readers. And she just has a beautiful way of storytelling in this format and it keeps you engrossed. It's quite a long verse novel and I felt that the pacing was really good in this book. I felt we got to know all of the main players in the story really really well and we got to understand their motivations and we got to see how the family begins to reconcile all of the differing opinions that exist within the home and I appreciated that. So this was first published in 2021. It was shortlisted for the New South Wales Premier's History Awards in 2021. It was also a notable book for the Children's Book Council Awards as well. So it is a really gorgeous read and I hope that people pick it up because I hadn't heard of it until I was sort of exploring Lorraine Marwood's backlist and I'm really glad that I did. I will leave links to where you can find out more information about the book and about Lorraine Marwood down below. In the comments, I'd love to know if you have read it or if you have other books that are similar, verse novels that tackle topics of history, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.